Welcome to PaySoft Prep 101. This is working with what you have. My name is Gretchen Sansel, and I'm here today to help you through your Seder prep um, so that you can use what you have in your house. So today, everything that I'm going to show you is what I already had in my house, and I'm going to give you three versions. So if you notice, we have what would normally be on my Pesach Seder table. My candlesticks, my two goblets, my, my nice china that I love. I mix and match patterns, so it's usually white. And your bowl and your pitcher for hand washing. Now, I'm a little quirky, and I don't own a traditional Seder plate. I made my own years ago because, well, to be honest, the ones I liked were way too expensive. So I wanted to make something that I really enjoyed that I felt matched our family and how we live. So I made a few changes. Um, also with some of the other items that you need for your Seder table. So the first thing I want to tell you about is years ago, um, I bought an antique linen tablecloth that had a big stain in one side of it but it had this beautiful embroidery work, handwork. And I cut it up. Um, this embroidery was in all the corners and there was a big section in the center. And I took the center, as you can see, and I cut it and I edged it. And that is now the cover for my matzah. This is my matzah tosh bag that I made with it. It's just got the simple envelope to the back. And I did my Aki Kamen bag. So it fits right in, as you can see. So that was probably $20 for me to do all that. Now, I don't think you can run out and get those, but if you have an old one around that has a stain in the corner and you don't use it anymore, but it's got beautiful work to it, colorful ones, whatever, consider doing that. So I did not, when I started buying my play settings for the Sager, I don't like all match. That's just not who I am. So I would buy three of one kind and two of one kind. And I think I have five different patterns that I mix and match through everything. So you can see this, it's, a, it's got this nice texture on the first, on the bottom, and then on the top it has the leaf design that I really like. And I just kind of play off one another. Um, then I was looking for what I was going to use for my matzo plate. And I found this at Target. And believe it or not, it's a napkin holder. But I love it. First of all, it doesn't take up as much room on your table. And it looks kind of cool. And then the matzo cover that I made just goes over the top. Finally, I want to show you the Seder plate that I made for our family. I'm going to move some of this out of the way while we're talking. I found this great silver platter at Target. All of this came from Target probably five years ago. And your Seder plates don't necessarily have to have individual dishes. You'll see a lot of them with that. I don't, I like it that they're all individual so we can easily pass it around and don't have to pass the whole plate. I found these great glass um, in the gardening section, believe it or not. And then these very simple bowls that matched the hand washing bowl that I also found at Target. So this is your standard or our standard Seder table dressing, as I would call it. Um, some of it's old, some of it's new. It's kind of a mixture of who we are. So I'll be right back and I will show you the next level of Seder settings that you could do. So we're back and I'm going to show you the next version that I pulled from everyday things that I have here. So to make um, a Seder plate, if you don't have one and you can't go out shopping. Um, I have this old white platter that my mom had. And for some reason, I just couldn't get rid of it. It's old milk glass. And I looked around in my kitchen for what I could do to dress it up, to make bowls. And I remember that I had Kerr glass, Kerr um, cannon glasses. So what I did is I took out the top lid and I left the metal ribs on to dress it up a little bit. Again, you don't have to put them all on here. 
but it gives it a little color and a little shine, and it makes it a little bit more festive, a little bit more colorful. Feel free to just put everything on the platter if you want. That's your option too. So you have this, as well as your candlesticks, which I think everybody has. So we have candlesticks. If you don't have wine glasses or goblets um, for the Kadoosh or Miriam's cup or Elijah's cup, just use your, your nicer glassware. Um, in a later segment called Get Creative, I'm going to show you some things that you can do to these to dress them up a little bit. You don't have to pour as much grape juice. You really don't pour wine. It's just taller, more present. That's all that it is on a table. It looks good against the candlesticks. Now, when it comes to everything else we have to have on the table, one of the things that I found long ago are these great plastic plates. They look wonderful, but they're just plastic. And I have white dishes. So I can use this and use this for my matzah. And I just have a white napkin that I've ironed. Of course, it's gotten creased since then, but nicely pressed to go over the matzah. Now, you're wondering, what do we do for the afikoman bag and for the matzah tosh bag if we don't have anything? Take another napkin, fold it in half, put the afikoman in, and fold it over. It's all wrapped and ready to go. For the Matatosh bag, we did this years ago um, when we were doing a Seder for our church, and of course we didn't have enough for all the tables. So I took a white napkin, I folded it in half, and then I folded it again. If you'll notice, that's what's been done here. And then all I did was insert the matzah in between the folds. And there you have your Matatosh bag. And it's all ready to go. So this is another version for you to be able to do out of the things that you have in your home. I'll be right back with the third version. Stay with us. So we're back with our last look of what can we do to make the Seder special or Seder table special during this holiday, this amazing season of the year when we can't get out of our house. So the final one is what we use more days than I would like to admit. Um, I got hard plastic because my guys tend to be hard on dishes. I don't know why they can't hear the breaking as they stack them, but they don't. And so we end up with more chips than we like. These are also the ones that we use outside. So I took um, a big platter that I have for when we're cooking out. I think most everybody has one of those. And I use that, and then we have these great plastic bowls that just have a little bit of sunshine on them, which I like. And so there again, use them or don't use them. If you want to have each one of your elements separated, that's great. We have the same candlesticks, because I don't think we're going to have multiple times of candlesticks, different types. Um, we have plastic glassware. I love this. It has a little fun to it. Um, again, if you don't have goblets, don't worry. I'll show you and be creative things you can do to dress up your your goblets that you need to use, and then just a pitcher. So it's all pretty fun and easy to go. So once we have that set, then you're wondering, what am I gonna do to dress my table? Sorry, that was a little loud. We're first gonna use the same idea that we used in the last segment that showed folding a white napkin into force to get your three sections for your matzo bag. So here it is again. These are just regular white dinner napkins. Um, amazingly, these are still on the shelves at Walmart, uh, probably because people aren't thinking about being fancy with napkins. And they're not very expensive to buy. And you get a whole bunch, which is great. So you can use them to dress the rest of your table. So with this, all you had to do is open it once and you have your three sections to put your matzo in. Take it. For your afikoman bag, lay it out. Sorry about that. Put your afikoman right here in the middle and then just fold it along and it's all wrapped up nice and neat. Look for your paper plates. I found these at Walmart. They're white. They're not bad looking really. They're nice and simple and all I did was take a paper napkin, put it over the top from my matzo plate and then you can use them also to eat with. 
They usually have these in a the smaller size or coordinating, so you can take a smaller plate and use that for the Seder itself when we're removing a drop of our grape juice for each one of the plates. So there you go. There are your three. Make it at home with what you have. Don't stress this season. Look around your house. Be creative. I saw a great idea that um, a family had taken all the canned goods that they had used to prepare the Seder meal and clean them out and then use those to put flowers in. So there's all sorts of things you can do. You just got to stretch your mind a little bit and just have your heart in the right place and God will lead you. So thanks for tuning in for Pesach Prep 101. See you soon.